overview of our fifth module in our balanced assessment series, where we are focusing on interpreting evidence of student learning. My name is Carrie McDaniel, and I am joined today by Misty Higgins, and we are professional learning coordinators in the Division of Program Standards Office of Teaching and Learning at the Kentucky Department of Education. And this year we are focusing our work around addressing two essential questions. So what resources are available to support Kentucky educators as they work to create and implement a comprehensive balanced system of assessment that is aligned to the Kentucky academic standards? And then also, how can schools and districts utilize the formative assessment process to help students meet the grade level expectations built within the CAS? We are currently in our second year of the three year implementation plan that is focused on balanced assessment. So really addressing that question of how do we know if students have learned? Our fall 2020 professional learning series took a closer look at formative assessment and eliciting evidence of student learning. As a part of our spring 2021 PL series, this very first module would be focused on interpreting evidence of student learning with specific versions of this module available for reading and writing and social studies in January and math and science in February. So in all, there are four versions of module five for each content area. So each content specific module is available on kystandards.org and will address specific strategies you can use for interpreting student evidence specific to each discipline while guiding you in really identifying patterns in student responses to inform your next steps. And so why? Why would we have this focus on formative assessment? Well, we know from the research that when the formative assessment process is implemented in an intentional and purposeful way, it can greatly impact student achievement. And at the heart of the formative assessment process, it is about noticing, recognizing and responding to the evidence of student learning so that both the teachers and the students can help move toward whatever the established learning goals might be. We know that for our students, when the formative assessment process is a part of our daily teaching and learning, it can help foster self-regulation and student ownership as they become more active participants in the learning process. And it also gives students the feedback that they need on what their possible next steps might be to help reach those intended learning outcomes. For teachers, we know that the formative assessment process gives them the feedback they need to determine how effective their instruction was and help students reach those learning goals. And finally, it allows us to identify students that might be in need of additional instructional supports as well as those that are ready for enrichment. So that is a broad reasoning of why we really want to focus on formative assessment. So now let's take a closer look at this new module and how it will help us in interpreting meaningful evidence. At the heart of the formative assessment process, it is about empowering our students to be able to answer three critical questions. Where am I going? Where am I now? And where to next? And our new module, Module 5, is focused on interpreting evidence of student learning. And as students work to interpret evidence of their learning, it helps them to address that question of where am I now in relation to the intended learning outcomes so that they and the teacher can help use that information to inform their next steps. In module five, the learning goals that we have, we want participants to be able to understand the role that evidence of student learning plays in helping to monitor and support student progress toward the learning goals and success criteria. We also want participants to understand strategies they can use to engage students in the process of interpreting their own progress toward the intended learning outcomes. And finally, that participants can understand strategies they can use that will help in interpreting evidence of student learning to inform their teaching and learning at the classroom level within each specific content area. 
the success criteria for module five. We want participants to be able to plan for how they will interpret evidence of student learning throughout a lesson, as well as to be able to develop and utilize specific strategies that engage students in the process of interpreting evidence of their own learning as they work toward the learning goals and success criteria. Each content specific version of module five consists of two sessions. Session one is the professional learning where uh, participants are really developing that content understanding of what is uh, what we mean by interpreting evidence. And then session two allows the participants to apply their learning through a teacher collaboration activity. And each session is designed to take about an hour. If we take a closer look at session one and what is contained within that professional learning portion, you will see that sections one and two provide an introduction and a quick review of the formative assessment process. Section three takes a closer look at what is meant by evidence based interpretation. Section four and section five are looking at the importance of engaging students in the process of interpreting evidence of their own learning, as well as tools and strategies teachers use can to support students in that work. Section six will take a deeper dive into interpreting evidence in action for each specific content area, and this section will utilize a lot of ideas and examples that are aligned to the Kentucky academic standards for that particular content. Session two is that teacher collaboration activity where participants are applying their learning from that professional learning session. So it starts with a welcome as well as a quick refresher, but most of the time is spent in a lesson tune up activity. This activity uses a structured protocol that provides teachers with an opportunity to refine an upcoming lesson through the lens of the specific strategies that they will use so that both the teacher and students are able to interpret evidence of their learning to help inform their next steps. And finally, you can see it wraps up with a debrief and reflection on that lesson. And so like Misty shared, this module is broken down into two sessions. Each content specific module includes a facilitator's guide, PowerPoint presentation, discipline specific examples and ideas, links to additional resources or handouts, and some video examples of interpreting evidence in action. And as always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to either of us. Misty and I are always happy to help clarify or address any wonderings you may have along the way. And remember, you can access this module if you go to the Balanced Assessment PL modules icon under General PL Opportunities on KYStandards.org. Thank you for joining us today.